I'm Dr. Abimbola Aina Mamuni. Um, I'm a maternal fetal medicine specialist and I work here at the Center for Maternal Fetal Medicine at Howard County. So after age 35, there are certain um, increased risks to pregnancy, both from a maternal standpoint and from a fetal standpoint. Um, from a maternal standpoint, as we get older, we have an increased risk for conditions such as diabetes, such as hypertension or high blood pressure, um, and for pregnancy loss. Our risk for loss goes up as we get older. Um, and that includes early loss, which is usually due to baby issues with um, abnormal chromosomes or genetic material, but also increased risk for late loss. Particularly after the age of 40, our risk goes up for stillbirth. Um, from the baby's perspective, uh, the genetic material can have an abnormal number. We normally have 23 pairs of chromosomes. We get one from mom, one from dad. And if there's any abnormality in that pairing system, so if we have too many or too few, it can lead to pregnancy loss. And so as we get older, particularly for having too many chromosomes, our risk increases. So if you're contemplating pregnancy and you're going to be 35 or older at the time of delivery, we usually recommend a couple of things. One is to come in and meet with a genetic counselor so that you can discuss your options for testing for genetic conditions during the pregnancy. Um, that can take place before pregnancy, ideally, so that you and your husband or partner have a chance to discuss what you would like to do during the pregnancy and you're not feeling the pressure of time constraints during a pregnancy. Um, or if you miss that opportunity and you suddenly find yourself pregnant, you can come in and speak to a genetic counselor anytime, ideally before 12 weeks of pregnancy, so that you can discuss your options. Um, in terms of medical complications, we would prefer our um, patients considering pregnancy to see either their obstetrician or come in and see us in maternal fetal medicine to discuss their uh, potential risks that we um, can go through, uh, other things that they need to consider before getting pregnant, if they have medical conditions that they need to get fine-tuned or tuned up before they consider pregnancy, we'd rather see them before they got pregnant. But again, if we've missed that opportunity, the sooner you can get in to see us, the better off we are. So during pregnancy, there are certain tests that are offered to all pregnant women. Genetic screening to see if babies have conditions such as Down syndrome is one, and that can occur as early as 11 to 12 weeks of gestation. Then there's an anatomy ultrasound that we do around 18 to 20 weeks that covers all of the baby's anatomy to make sure baby has all the parts that it should, and that is to every pregnant woman. In addition to that, for our older moms, we also recommend a growth scan later in the pregnancy, usually in the beginnings to middle of the third trimester. And then if you're going to be um, over 40 at the time of delivery, then we also offer and recommend fetal monitoring, which um, occurs in the setting um, of 40 and over moms. Um, not necessarily 35 and older, but as you get closer to 40, we, we like to monitor baby and keep a close monitoring of baby for the last month of the pregnancy. So when we monitor babies, if, if mom has any medical condi conditions or just by age alone, needs monitoring of the baby. Usually it entails a non-stress test, which is, it's, it's very benign. Mom lays down and we place little belt monitors on her abdomen and we monitor the baby's heart rate for about 30 to 40 minutes. Um, that usually occurs once or twice a week 
And then usually we also add to that, at least once a week, an ultrasound looking at the fluid around the baby to make sure that that's normal. I think sometimes for our older moms, some have the misconception from friends that getting pregnant late in life is basically requires them to do invasive testing. And all of that is optional and it all depends on the couple and what information they would like to gain from their pregnancy and what they would do with that information. So by coming to speak with a genetic counselor, you're not agreeing to an invasive test or any genetic test, you're just getting information. And I think a lot of older moms feel like they would rather not register the pregnancy until they're beyond any screening or testing intervals because they don't feel like they want to be pressured into obtaining a test, which is not the case. We present options and everyone has the option to decline a genetic test or screen.